Hello. 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 Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Fine, doing? thank you. Fine, fine. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very good. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Judy? Good. Excellent. Yes. Ready with energy. We finish unit two. <clears throat> Congratulations. <coughs> Congratulations. I was checking the platform and I see that you have been working there, right? What I noticed is that most of you. I guess just three, uh, two people are missing the, the whole unit too. One is missing three parts. There are others that are missing only today, right? Others that are missing two parts. But in the midterm exam, I see a lot of exams complete and that's great because that means that you have been working. Great. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to call the attendance now. 29. 29 today. Angel. Angel Antonio, I saw you there. Is Angel here? No. Okay. Aristides. Denia? Present teacher. Okay. Eduardo? Edwin Orlando? Present. Fatima Samara? Fatima? Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Fatima. <laughs> okay. Isabel. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio, Luis Mauricio, María Martínez, María. Present teacher. Ok, Maricela, Maricela, no hay Maricela, Marilene. Present teacher. Wait. Maura. Present. Nidia Marilyn. Nidia. Nidia, Nidia. Para subir a Nidia, no. Oscar. 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 Microphone, Oscar. <laughs> I see you, I see you, you're there. Present, okay, present. great. Ricardo? Present teacher. Yes, Oscar, hoy sí ya le, ya le puse presente. Oscar? Oscar, no, Ricardo. Ricardo? <laughs> <laughs> I continue calling Oscar. Ricardo, no here? Teresa? Present teacher. Hello, Teresa. Hello, good night. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Walter? Present teacher. Yesenia? Present teacher. Okay. Judy? Judy, 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 señorita Judy, no here. Vamos a ver a la segunda vuelta. ¿Quién es este? Present teacher. Ok, ah, ya decía yo que yo ya la había visto. No había activado el micrófono. 
Oh, I see, I see. Vamos a ver, Ángel. Ángel. Good evening, teacher. Ah, ya decía yo que lo había visto. Aristides. Present. Great. Luis Mauricio. Luis Luis. Nidia. Nidia. Ricardo. Yesenia. Present teacher. Ok, perfecto. ¿Cómo siguió, Yesenia? Mejor teacher, muchísimas gracias. Ay, qué bueno, qué me alegro. Ok, bueno, let's begin. Let's begin, let's begin. Vamos a ver. Let's make a review about yesterday's class. Remember, eh, bueno, hoy es, hoy es día de terminación de unidad número dos y hacemos nuestro respectivo repasito de toda la unidad. ¿verdad? Lo que hemos hecho, lo que hemos trabajado y hemos estudiado en la unidad. Eh, Okay. Okay, Angel. Thank you, a, teacher. A tomar suero, mucho líquido, Angel. Yes, yes, yes. Mucho, mucho líquido. Thank you. Ouch. A ver cuando me toca a mí. Todavía no. <laughs> Todavía no. Okay, vamos a ver. Les decía, este es día de, de, de repaso, right? de, de, de todo. Entonces, vamos a irnos, igual que al final de la unidad pasada, vamos a ir a hacer un par de, de comments allí en, en, ¿se acuerdan de dónde? En la plataforma. En discussion, right? Go to discussion in the platform. You have a couple of exercises there that you're going to complete. The first one is about a free time activities, right? So go ahead. Check the question that is posted for you there. Ya saben cómo, ¿verdad? Ya saben cómo llegar a, a, a discussion. O ya se les olvidó. Uh -huh. Vamos a la plataforma, al área de discussion. We are going to answer a couple of questions there. You're going to write in the number one, write three, three free time activities that you practice, right? What three uh, free time activities do you practice? What do you do in your free time? Mm -hmm. what, are, what are those activities that you do in your free time? Go to the platform. I'm going to check that you are there. Remember discussion, right? <clears throat> discussion. Check say, number six, the post number six. No sé por qué todo cae en semana uno, ¿verdad? Todo cayó en semana uno, ¿no? Se sí. una semana dos. 
pero checking. Checking, checking, free time activities. That's the name of the post. Free time activities. What you're going to write there is three activities that you do in your free time. What are three things that you do in your free time? That's what you will write there. Okay. Three free time activities you do, or well, three activities that you do in your free time. Teacher, perdón, este, nos dijo que nos fuéramos a discusión de la plataforma. Sí, sí. Y ahí aparecen varios discusión, yo no me había fijado. Y dijo que entráramos al, al seis. ¿Dónde está el jamás? Free time. How many? No. Ese era que no me lo menos. Ese es el cuatro. El seis es el de free time activities. Free time activities. Ya lo vio. No buscando, no ando. Ya lo voy a encontrar, creo. Ah, ok. Gracias. Dele clic encima de la zona 1. Venia de Microsoft. Thank you. No sé por qué no, no se va a una semana dos, sino que quedó ahí agregado en semana uno. Entonces, siempre le va, ahí tienen que darle clic en semana uno para que se les dé clic. Free time activities. Sí, ya entré a semana uno y hay simple present negative daily routine y question about of no ha comentado en esas todavía. No, ni las había visto. Ah, va. Vale. Porque la de hoy es free time activities. Ok. Donde está lo de las imágenes de Running. Yes. Ok. Yes. Thank you. Ok. Parece que solo el profe Aristides ha hecho a cabo una respuesta. No sé si esa es la que, la que de la que está hablando, teacher, perdón. Muy bien. I have five people answering right now in free time activities. ¿Y cuándo actualizaron esas, teacher? Porque yo anoche vi y no estaban. Recuerden que cada, 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 ¿cómo le digo? Cada vez que terminamos. Eh, semana. Ajá, que terminamos. Ah, semana, okay. Le damos la, la, la actualización. Okay. Va una actividad chiquita por cada. Ajá, baby girl. ¿Cuántas son teacher? Tres o cuántas? Three, three free time three. activities. Yeah, three free okay. time activities. Uh -huh. Go to the park. In the activity of have to and or has to, uh, I be respond answer. Uh, excuse me, answer the, the the questions or I write my my activities have to activities. What, what do you have to do? 
Okay. What do you have to do at work? Okay. Mm -hmm. How many, teacher? Tell me at least two things that you have to do in the morning. Okay. Thank ¿Qué you. actividades son las? O sea, hay que escribir tres actividades que nosotros hemos hecho, teacher. No, that. You're talking about free time activities, or you're talking about how to that is uh, that Angel is saying. Recuerden que son diferentes, verdad? Mm -hmm. A mí me parece como número uno, no como número seis. La número seis me parece otra cosa. Me aparece, aparece, me aparece how much o how many. El número seis, algo así. No sé si yo soy la. No hay número seis. El seis significa que seis personas han comentado. Ah, ya. Entonces, donde dice free time activities es porque solamente una persona ha comentado. Ahorita ya van siete. Ok, va, pero ahí se trata, teacher, este, según estoy viendo yo, son como eh, tres actividades. Yeah, three, three activities that you write, that you do in your free time. That's what you're going to do there. Write three activities that you do in your free time. Ok, gracias. For example, if you say, well, I watch TV, I listen to music, I sleep. <laughs> yeah, you have the three activities. Okay, three activities that you do in your free time. Entonces, para este día, todas las, las discusiones tienen que estar ya comentadas, mm. teacher. Yes, yes. They are very short. They won't take you more than one minute, right? Okay, if you finish with the free time activities. Teacher. To... I finish. Okay, perfect. Have to. Teacher, have teacher to... just has to. Tell me, Denny. Estoy confundida, eh, but yo comenté en Great Time, Free Time Activity, en yeah. donde aparece un, eh, la, the picture. una picture. Uh -huh. Sí, ya the estaba picture. viendo, ya estaba viendo su comment. Allí puede comentarme otra vez y escribir los dos ejemplos que le faltan, porque solo me escribió uno, ¿verdad? Ah, no, acabo de enviar los otros dos. Ah, eh, ¿Y es solo eso o todos los topics? Váyase ahora a imperatives. Imperatives. In imperatives, the question is, what does your boss tell you to do every morning? What does your boss What does your boss tell you to do in the morning? Remember, eh, en esta actividad mencionábamos qué es lo que el jefe le dijo a, allí a, a la chica de la historia, ¿se acuerdan? Que hiciera. Write the reports, check the emails, qué es lo que le, su jefe le dice que haga usted cada mañana. ¿Ok? Sí, solo. Podrían ser referencias. Teacher. Can you repeat that, sir? Eh, que sean referentes a nosotros o referentes a los que compartíamos con los compañeros. Lo que su jefe le dice a usted que haga. Ah, perfecto. Mm -hmm. Remember, we're talking about imperatives, right? It goes to imperatives. And then okay. you write, for example, if your boss tells you, Check the emails every morning. Check the email. Send emails to the clients. Close the door at the end of the or at the end of your work. Right? So those are the things that you're going to do. The things that you what does your boss tell you to do? <clears throat> Teacher, eh, yo tengo un problema. Porque eh, estoy trabajando en, en una computadora. 
cuando intenté entrar a la plataforma, me sacó de Zoom, me sacó de la reunión. Entonces, logré contestar algo de la discussion, pero no me sacó de la reunión. Entonces, si logro, si quiero entrar otra vez a la plataforma. Hago una cosa. Escriba sus respuestas en un documento de Word. Y después, al final de la clase, solo le da copiar y lo pega. Ya lo tiene adelantado, solo va a pegar. Ok, perfecto. En mi cuaderno, entonces. No, en un documento de Word. ¿Para qué no? le? Porque si lo escribe en el cuaderno, después va a tener que digitarlo, ¿verdad? Si lo escribe en una hojita de Word, después le da copiar, copiar a todo y pegarlo no solo en la plataforma y ya va solo submit, submit, submit. Y ya lo lleva hecho. Ah, perfecto. Gracias por la sugerencia. Don Walter, dígale a su hijo que, que vea si no tiene actualización el Windows pendiente. Fíjense que a mí me pasó lo mismo hoy, hoy, este día exactamente dando clases en la mañana. Yo quería ingresar a, a trabajando en Zoom, conectándome a otras cosas y me cerraba la sesión. Entonces eh, reinicié el equipo y me cayó una actualización que ni siquiera me había aparecido notificación en, el, en, en, en la barra de estado de Windows. Y cuando la reinicié, empezó a caerle actualizaciones a la computadora. Ajá, sí, eso es muy importante, to check that you have all mm -hmm. the updating. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Gracias, Ángel. Bueno, bueno. Ok, perfect, perfect, perfect. And the last review, check. Yesterday, we were talking about need to have to, has to, remember? Need to, what do you need to do? What is something that you need to do? What is something that you have to do? So the question there is need to and have to. What do you have to do every day? What do you have to do every day? Mm -hmm. What do you have to do every day? Well, I have to check my email every day. I have to, remember to use have to, right? Or need to. I have to call clients every day. Yeah, hago yo todos los días, Tisha. Sí. ¿Qué tiene que hacer? Vamos a usar el, el structure have to. What do you have to do? Remember, eh, at work you have obligations, right? So here we're talking about obligations. So what is something that you have to do every day? Well, I have to, I have to check my email. I have to check papers. I have to teach a class. So, por lo menos un par de cosas que usted tiene que, right? As part of your obligation at work. Mm -hmm. What do you have to do? Esas oraciones son las que vamos a tomar en cuenta también en la discusión. En, es, eso es para la discusión. Mm -hmm. That's for the discussion. Need to, have to. Right? Now we are in need to and have to. What do you have to do every day? Algo así que definitivamente tiene que hacerlo todos los días. That's what you're going to break down. What do you have to do? Sorry, teacher. I, I, I don't understand. In the imperatives, mm -hmm. why I, why, what have I to do? In, the, in this part, I don't understand. Okay, remember. And the uh, has, have to and has to. I, right. I'm confused. En cual, en imperative, so have to and has to. And, and twice. <laughs> vaya, y te, vaya, vamos a los imperatives first. ¿Qué es lo que su jefe le dice que haga cada mañana? For example, if when you get 
to school your boss tells you. Uh, Angel, call attendance, right? Then you write call attendance. Recuerden, no le va a poner you call attendance. My boss tells me to call attendance. No, porque no está reportando. Solamente me va a escribir el imperativo. Okay. O por ejemplo, si su jefe le dice, yes, yes. o si su jefe le dice, check the WhatsApp, check your email, right? Then that's what you're going to write. What your okay. boss tells you, what your boss tells you to do. Así como imperative, como imperative, like the examples I posted there for you. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And they have to do, and they have, have to, to, and has to. Have to, and has to. The question is, what does your boss have to do in the morning? Allí ya no es qué es lo que tiene que hacer usted, sino qué tiene que hacer su jefe o su jefa. Then you say, she has to, she has to send emails. She has to arrive early. She has to... To talk to parents, for example, right? Because she's a principal. She has to help teachers. So, Thank you. Uh -huh, yes. About your boss. That's about your okay. boss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahí vamos a third person, right? She has Thank to you. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Let me get some water. Okay. Any questions over there? Questions. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Finish, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Great, great, great. Nice. Todas las vamos a hacer, dicha. ¿Cuáles le faltan? 
solo he hecho la de free time, have, have to, uh -huh. eh, imperative, creo que también es. Ok. Quiero ver. Sí, imperative también. Sí. Tengo que hacer todas. Need to, need to, have to también. Need to and have to. Eso está fácil. Is, that's what you have to do. What do you have to do every day? No me diga todo, todo lo que tiene que hacer, ¿verdad? Un par de cosas que okay. tiene que hacer. For example, I have to teach a class. I have to, to talk to parents. I have to see the children, right? A couple of things that you have to do. I know during the day, I know that you have to do a lot of things, right? But you're not going to mention all the things that you have to do. Just two, two things, two things that you have to do. Okay. Okay. Hola. Aisha. Finish. Finish. Great, great, great. Now let's go to the next slide. Check. We're talking about. Uh huh. Then it. In in uh, imperative, tengo que usar el have to. No. 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 Solamente poner la oración. Eh, de lo que mi jefa dice que debo de solamente hacer. Solamente la orden, right? Yeah. Porque el imperative no llega ni a sentence porque no tiene subject, right? Ah, okay. la muy orden o command. Like, for example, hurry up. Check your email. Check, check my email. Uh -huh, check the email. Answer ah, the okay. phone. Uh -huh. So things like that. Very, very direct, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Now, let's see. What activities are these? Tell me. <clears throat> drive. Do you drive every day? What of these activities do you do? Do you play chess? Do you play chess? Do you travel? Yes, uh, I play chess. Sometimes. Sometimes you play chess, okay. Do you travel or do you drive? Do you drive a car, but for fun? Like I drive a car. You drive a car, Walter, okay. Do you dance? I don't dance. Do you don't dance? I like that. Who likes dancing? Teresa likes dancing. Do you dance, Teresa? Yes. Okay. I dance. A lot. I, I like I dance I dancing I like dancing bachata. 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 Salsa. <laughs> Salsa mingi. <laughs> okay. Okay. Who can dance tango? Do you dance tango? <clears throat> My grandma dance, dance tango. I dance. I dance in tango. Who dances tango? I. Maria. Maria. <laughs> ah, Luis dances tango. Yes. Okay. Maria, do you dance tango? <laughs> mm -hmm. No, you Tim. Do you do dance tango? Okay. Do you swim? Sorry. Do you swim? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you? I swim. I swim. Okay. Yes. Of course, Walter has to swim, right? He has to swim. That's mandatory in his job, right? Okay. In my job. In your every job. month. No way. No way to say, no, I don't swim, right? You have to swim. Okay, tell me, do you cook? Yes, I cook every day. 
What do you cook? What do you cook? Anything. <laughs> Lo que sea. No sé cómo se dice. <laughs> Lo que sea. You cook everything. Yes, everything. everything. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. If I say, I well, time. I'm on here. Say, I want to eat. <laughs> yes, invita. Uh huh. Pupusas. <laughs> can you make pupusas? Pupusas. No, no. I can make pupusas. My wife makes pupusas. Your wife makes pupusas. <laughs> Do you cook lasagna? Yes. Oh, wow. I cook lasagna. Yes. I um, cook lasagna. You cook lasagna too. The, the Christmas, the Christmas uh, dinner. Mm -hmm. okay. You cook the, the Christmas dinner. What else do you cook? Who else cooks here? Let's see. Uh -huh. I make pizza. You make pizza. Okay. Let's see. Denia, do you cook? Do you cook, Denia? Yes, I cook. What do you cook? I cook fish, I cook um, chicken, I cook lasagna, no sé cómo se escribe, se dice. Lasaña, hay pupusas. Mm. Todo un poquito. Luis, sí. Luis, ahí, Luis, Luis, pupusas dijeron. Pupusas, de, de chicharrón. Ahí listo. De queso. De okay. queso con oro. Yeah. Ok. Ok, tell me. Do you, do you run? Do you run? Yes. Yes. When do you run? Tell me. When After the week run? and the weekend. On the weekend. Okay. On the weekend. So. On the weekend. You, you run on yes. the weekend. Where yes, do you because, where? Uh, love. Where? <laughs> in where? the stadium. In the stadium. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Maura, do you run? Yes. Yes. When do you run, Maura? In the park. Okay. In the morning, at night, on the weekend. When? When do you run? In the weekend. On the weekend. Okay. Somebody plays soccer here. Do you play soccer? No. I play. No, you don't play. Yes. Soccer? Who says yes? Edwin, do you play soccer? Yes, I play soccer. When do you play soccer and where? Yes. When and where? On Sunday. Okay. Where do you play? Where? Where, where, where? Like the song, right? Ah, <laughs> where, where, where. Uh, where do you play? Near your house, in the stadium, in the soccer field, where? On the soccer field. Okay, okay. Who plays a musical instrument? Who plays a musical instrument? Somebody plays a musical instrument? I play um, battery. The battery, the drum, a bit. Drums, the drums. Do you play the drums? Okay. A church, Angel? Yes, in the church, but hace un tiempo, no sé cómo dice, hace un par de años. Ya. Long time ago? Long time ago, yes. And now no more? No, no more. Okay. Now the new generation plays the, the drums. Okay. Yes. Somebody else plays a drum or well, or plays a musical instrument. Can be a flute, a saxophone. I love this instrument, the saxophone, the music of the saxophone. 
It's like who are flying when I listen to that music. Uh huh. Who can play a musical instrument? We where are these cameras? Camera, 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 chicos. Camera, 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 camera. Oh, Maricela, hello. Ricardo, are you still driving? <clears throat> yeah. Not sure. Are you still driving, Ricardo? No. A ver. Vaya, let's see. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. Do you watch TV? Do you watch TV? Yes. Yes, I watch TV. Okay. What do you watch? What do you watch on TV? What do you watch on TV? You watch the news, the soap operas. You know what are soap operas, right? No, yes. Las telenovelas. Ah. Do you watch soap operas? Hoy están de moda los doramas, right? Do you watch doramas? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yes, I watch doramas. Okay, the Korean ones, the Turkish. Antique doramas. Okay. Otoño en mi corazón. Este, serenata de invierno. Ah, that's beautiful. El cielo. <laughs> Hay una muy buena que es este... Se llama Vals de Primavera. Vals de Primavera. Is It's that in so Spanish? Good. It's in so Spanish. good. In Spanish. Eh, no, subtitle to Korean uh, Spanish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because sometimes there are some series that are beautiful, but they are in Korean and you will like them. And you have to go reading, reading the the subtitles right okay do you listen to music yes do you listen to yes music? yes i yes. listen i listen to yes. music okay yes i listen to music do you listen to music while you are working sometimes sometimes okay what type of music do you listen to What type of music? Mm -hmm. What type of music? ¿Qué tipo de music? Rock ballads. Okay. Rock ballads. Uh -huh. What else? Romantic. Romantic. Okay. Salsa. Okay. Boleros. Boleros. Oh, yes. Okay. Ah. okay. Some people are good at listening to music while they are uh, doing some mental work. Can you do that? Pueden estar escuchando música mientras preparan la clase, por ejemplo. Yes. Sí. I can. Yo yes. siento que mi cerebro trabaja más de la cuenta, you know. I can't. I can't. I love music. Yo me distraigo. <laughs> exactly. That's what happens to me. I start singing and I forget about what I'm doing. That's why I cannot do it. Um, I feel more concentration when I, I listen to music. Oh, wow. Amazing. Okay, I like to listen to music when I am, uh, for example, washing the dishes or cleaning the house. When I'm moving, then yes, right? But when I'm sitting, checking papers or working, uh, preparing something where I have to concentrate, as Teresa said, I feel that I make more effort. My brain works more when I'm in, in that case. But 
but some people I know, some people like to be working and listening to music. Okay, great. Now, remember we are retaking like a review of all the, the, the how can I say, all the things that we have been talking about during this uh, unit, right? And in the next session, check. We have a reading. We have a reading. You're going to read about Mr. Wilson. Who is Mr. Wilson? Hmm? Okay, let's read it. Let's see. I'm going to move it here. Okay. Hello. Repeat after me. Hello. My name is John Wilson. Hello, Hello, my, my name, name is John Wilson. Wilson. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. Mm -hmm. I, I work, work in, in an office. office. I'm a human resources manager. I'm, I'm a human resources manager. manager. Every day I check emails for the company. Every day I check emails for the company. Every day I check emails for the company. Every day, Every day, I day I email 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 from the company. company. I always answer the phone. I always, I always answer, answer, answer the phone. And talk to potential employees. And talk, um, I talk um, to potential employees. And talk to potential employees. Mm -hmm. I talk to potential employees. 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 Yes. Empleador. Yeah. Empleados. Employer es el empleador, el, el, el que lo va a contratar, right? The human resources manager, que es el que contrata. Y employees son los, las personas empleadas, right? Okay, so you say, I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, 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 meetings in the morning. I, I attend meetings in, in the morning. morning. And not so often in the afternoon. I, I know so often in the afternoon. afternoon. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, in my, in my company, company, in my company, we always have events. We, we always have, have events. events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. We have to we have attend, to attend, to attend a conference on July 21st. 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference. And then, and then, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. On July 22nd. I am always busy. I am, I am always, always busy. busy. I am always busy. I am, I am, always, I am busy. always busy. Okay, very good. Now let's read it one more time. Pero vamos a hacer relajo y lo vamos a leer todo al mismo tiempo. ¿Te parece? Yes. Okay. Yes. There we go. Hello. Okay, vamos a ver. One, two, three. Go. Hello. 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 My name is Wilson. I work in a human resources manager. I work in a human resources manager. I work in a human resources manager. I work in a human 
house, the Lord's house, and the Lord's house, about Mr. Wilson and check the correct sentences. Some sentences are correct, but some others no. Then if the sentence, for example, his name is John Wilkins. No. Entonces, ouch. So his name is not John Wilkins. His name is John Wilson. Entonces, le, no le pone check, sino que le escribe la corrección. Ok, los voy a mandar a in pairs. Go to your manual. Go to your manual. I'm telling you the page. 24. Ah, vamos mojando. Esta mano se quedó aruñando y no movió nada. Ok, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Yes. Okay, okay. Ready? Ready, ready. Ready. Excellent. Fashion. Fíjense que los felicito porque si se fijan, nos han ido saliendo varios readings. Y ustedes ya los dominan bien. Woo! Congratulations. Congratulations. That's pretty good. Thank you. Very, very good. Okay. Vaya, estamos ready. Ready, ready on page two. Ready, teacher. Ready. Excellent. I'm going to stop sharing. Y los voy a mandar a los rooms. Vamos a ver. We are 16. Hmm. I always use my finger to count and to make the numbers. There we go. Ready, ready. There will be one group of four and the others are groups of three. Listos? Page 24, everybody? Yes. Yes, yes. Fíjense que les voy a llamar a tendas antes de que se me vayan. Si no, después se me olvida. A ver. Ángel. Ángel. Present. Aristides. Present. Denia. Present. Eduardo. Edwin, Fátima, present teacher, Isabel, present teacher, Luis Mauricio, Luis Mauricio, Luis Mauricio, me pareció ver a Luis que estaba por allí. No aparece conectado. Okay, María Martínez. María. María, 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 María. María. María, María. I saw María. 
María, no here. Oh, Later. I are celebrating my, my nephew's birthday today. 18, 18 years old, imagine. Okay, Maria, no here, right? Okay. Uh, Maricela? Present. Okay. Ahora solo, solo voy a estar escuchando. Okay, Maricela. Marlene? Present, teacher. Great, Maura? Media. Did you see Nidia there? Nidia, Nidia. Oscar. Present teacher. Okay, Ricardo. Ricardo. Ricardo, no here. Teresa. Present teacher. Okay, Walter. Present teacher. Yesenia. 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 Present teacher, me está fallando, me está fallando el micrófono. Uh -oh. Present teacher. Okay. Yuri. Present teacher. Ricardo no here. Está como conectado, pero sin ah, cámara. Sí. Okay. Recuerden que es necesario que enciendan cámara y abran micrófono para decir present, para que yo le pueda marcar atenda. Porque okay. esa es parte del, del reglamento, que tienen que estar con cámaras abiertas y principalmente cuando paso a tendas con más razón, ¿verdad? Cámara abierta, micrófono abierto y poder decir presente. ¿Ok? Bye. Let's go then. Go to the room. What you're going to do is... Eh, uy, tenía todos los grupos de cuatro y tres y me quedaron pocos. ¿Qué pasó? Vamos a hacer, me vamos a poner al principio de la oración, teacher. Vale, si es correcta, le ponen un chequecito y ya no le hacen ah, la okay. oración. Ah, okay. Si no okay, es correcta, yeah. según la información del reading, eh, le pueden poner una crucita y la corrigen. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher, gracias. Bueno, ready everybody? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Page 24, allá vamos. ¿A la par se va a corregir, teacher? Sí, a la par, cabal en la línea que okay. se uh -huh. Okay. Que veamos algo ahí. Vaya, yo hasta el momento llevaba esas tres. La primera. Eh, one, number two, number three. And number one. Mm -hmm. His name is John Wilkins. No, his name is John Wilson. Number two. He writes reports every day. No, he, ch he checks emails for the company. And number three, he never answers the phone and talk to customer. No, he always answer the phone. Okay, let's see. 
your phone and talk to la corregimos ajá ahora bien quiero voy a checar aquí y en la primera dice hello vea y ahí dice hit my name is John Pero... Y termina con ya se me trago esta cosa. Creo que también donde dice Wilson, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. y dice, perdón, y dice Wilkin. Sí. Hola, hola. Hola. His, his name is John Wilkins. No. No, Wilson. Es John Wilson. No, no, he writes it for every day, quiero ver. No. No, every day, eh, check email, ¿verdad? No. Yes. No escribe, entonces está mala también. But it's incorrect, incorrect. Entonces, entonces he writes, yeah. write, No, sería he checks. No, he, he check email, he checks, ¿verdad? He checks. He checks email. email for the company, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Checks, with the S, right? Checks. Y check con ese, ¿verdad? Sí, con ese porque es, es a third person. Ajá. Entonces, y check. Emails. For the company. Y check email for the company. Every day. Every day se la pone también. Sí, porque dice al inicio de la oración, solo que no la había visto. Ajá, ajá. Every day I check. I check every day. Email. Pongámosle every day al final. Every day. Y ahí he never answered the phone call. Every day. ¿Cuándo se va a poner la vacuna, sí, teacher? Ese sí. I don't know yet. If it is that I enter, I didn't enter as a teacher for the first There was a, a, a mistake, and we were not included between the, the list of teachers. That's why oh. we have right now, I tried to make the, the, the appointment, but it mm. says, no, you are not <laughs> classified. Or class classified. Class uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, so, so sad. I, so I don't know. If I can call, I don't think so, because uh, last time we had, we, I was calling and I told them, listen, I'm a teacher, and they said, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Why? Uh, you are a teacher. To get your age, yeah, but as I was not included in the, in the school where I work in the morning. Oh, mm -hmm. not formal education, maybe. Yeah. Es formal, sí, pero no sé qué pasó. 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 No sé qué Maybe, maybe the end in this year, maybe on December mm -hmm. or January. Yeah. But, but no as a teacher. I will be included in a different batch. For a normal people. Mm -hmm. so. At least then I'm normal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, because I will be with all the rest of people, not with the teachers. Yeah. Uh, so bad. 
Yes. But you let me know what happens. If you feel okay, if you feel difference between this one and the previous ones. How do you feel? I feel my, my uh, uh, so much uh, pain mm -hmm. in my arm. My wife is so different. Uh, she felt nothing. Uh, a little, a little pain in the arm. Yeah, I think is that everybody is totally different. Yes, I ha I feel a a a a how do you say it? Dolor de huesos, no sé cómo se dice. Uh, pain, your bones pain. Sí. Boom. And the and the muscles, the body in general. Oh my goodness. Which are they putting? The Pfizer or Moderna? AstraZeneca. Oh no. Really? AstraZeneca. Uh -oh. See. Uh, the Sinovac mm -hmm. first and two and two uh, doses. Uh -huh. doses. Uh, as the, <clears throat> the third doses is a uh, AstraZeneca. Um, I won't put it then. No. I, I I have problems with the circulatory system. Ah. So, uh -uh. well, you can say I have a problem circulatory and and don't don't put the AstraZeneca. Yeah, I would prefer another one, but not mm -hmm. that. Pfizer, maybe. I'm, a, I'm a scared of that one. Yeah. Yes, because uh, uh, the people say the AstraZeneca uh, thrombo. Yes, that's why I'm scared of them. <laughs> so I will have to wait until they get another one. Maybe. Yes. First, God, don't put that AstraZeneca. You have a, a, a uh, you, you can, you can have a, a, a opportunity. A different one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. a different one. Hopefully, yes. Hopefully, because that one, I'm not sure about getting that. You put Sinovac. Yeah, the Chinese one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Problem. <laughs> no, but well, remember we teachers have been exposed a lot. Yes. yes. Have been exposed a lot. And year, the next year is a a, a presential class. I don't. Or... Think, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so that we will go presential completely. I hope to. Parents don't I, uh, want to. Parents don't want to. Mm -hmm. continue, so I don't think so. But well, we're still missing two months this year. Two months more of vacation. So let's see what happens. Yes. But I don't think we're not ready for that. The holidays is, a, a, is, is the beginning in the in the little little time as yeah, but <clears throat> probably they will have to make a decision between November and December to see what will happen next year. Yes. But the it's a very important this this two oh, months. Definitely. Yeah. But good. Teresa is working virtually too, right? Yes. Teresa? He work. She working. He's working virtually. Mm -hmm. And you too. Lo no. que pasa que no entiendo como lo que solo está hablando solo unas cosas. Teresa, Teresa, do you go to school or you work virtually? Virtually. Virtualmente trabaja usted. No. Vamos presencialmente. Go presencial. Oh, you. presencial. Semi, yeah, because not all the children go. Uh -huh. but, pero, but, but se dice pero como go back. The, the, el, the alumnos, ¿cómo se dice alumno? The students. Es así, ah, students, the students no, no están llegando. No sé cómo se dice inglés. Uh -huh. They don't want, they are not going. No. They are not going. Um, por eso... The teacher, estamos Visually. conversation, visualization, visualization, ¿cómo se dice? <laughs> and virtually. 
Yes. And virtually. Especially. Eh, yes. Que lo mejor sería ya no ir porque no llegan de tercer ciclo para bachillerato. Uh -huh. The little ones, yes, yes right. Uh -huh. The little ones want to go, the but the little ones want Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but good. Maybe nice next time. year, as Angel says. <laughs> okay, well, I will go see. I come back if you have any question, okay? Okay. Good. En la pregunta dice: Tengo que ir a una conferencia el 22 de julio. In English. Aquí está la ticha, le puedo preguntar. <laughs> Yes. Es, ahí no, no quiso confundir, ¿verdad? Why? ¿Y which one? Había trampa ahí. Yes, yes, a lot. Ajá, sí. A lot. Entonces, teacher, y en este caso, porque dice que va a asistir a una cita sobre las conferencias en julio 22. Entonces, una cita no es una conferencia. Mm. Check. We have to attend a conference on July 21st, right? And then we have to attend a meeting, no? Aquí no dice que una cita, una reunión dice. We have to attend a meeting about the conference. Entonces yeah. está bueno. Vamos a ver. He has to go to a conference, no. Es que la conference es una cosa y el meeting es otra cosa. Ah, sí, ¿Sí? cierto. Va, por ejemplo, Entonces, no. es de corregirla con la fecha 21, ya te dije. Ajá, ajá, exactly. Ahí tengo dos opciones. Una, he has to go to a conference on July 21st, or he has to attend a meeting. Ajá, así la podemos corregir. Ahí tienen dos opciones, cualquiera de las dos opciones de corrección, es ok. Quedaría... Quedaría, he has to attend a meeting about the conference on July, on July el 22. 26. On July 22. 26. ¿Verdad? Así. 22nd, 22nd. Yeah, 22nd, 21st, 22nd, 24th. 24th. 22nd, right? 22nd. 22nd. July 22nd. Yes. July, July, July 22nd. Yes. Entonces quedaría, he has to attend a meeting about the conference eh, on July 22nd. Así. Mm -hmm. sí. Ok. okay. okay. Gracias, Tito. You're welcome. Gracias. Sí. And this, uh, he never answers the forms and talk the customer. Y según lo que está en el, man en el manual, sí, sí lo hace. Write complete, always... write complete sentences. Write complete ah. sentences. Yes. Yes. Okay. Allá abajo las que me están tapando. <laughs> ya las vi. Ajá. En vez de solo John Wilson, what is the sentence? His name, his name is, is his name is John yes. Wilson. Uh -huh. Es que acuérdense que ahí es donde va la práctica del structure, ¿verdad? Y si mm. escribimos la oración completa, la structure se nos puede perder. Puntito mm -hmm. al final. Puntito, puntito, el period. Eso. Very good. What about number two? He writes reports every day. Ah, uh -uh. pero la oración sería he. How do, how do you spell check? Checks. Uh -huh, checks. C H E C K. S. Yes. Mm -hmm. Checks emails for the company. For the company. Mm -hmm. He checks emails 
emails, enumerar los emails for the company. Sí. For the company. Su compu mm -hmm. es como la mía. Ya vi. De Fátima. Sí, es como la mía. No sé por qué cuando uno escribe font le quitan la H. ¿Sí? Sí, a mí me pasa lo mismo con el, con el font. Siempre que yo escribo font, en la compu me le quita la H y me pone font. Ok, y antes de font. Okay. He always answers the phone. Yes, yeah, so when I see the phone, mm -hmm. answers the phone. Well, like, yeah, but I think when we have to use it. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Always. He always answers. Por donde vamos ya. He always answers the phone. Always. Mm -hmm. uh, he answers. Always answers the phone. Y a las que sí están correctas, pónganle un chequecito, mira. Sí, ya no le tienen que cambiar nada. Wow, well, it's a big, a big bottle for the water. <laughs> <laughs> Ya no, ya no tuve tiempo de ir por un vaso. ¿eh? No se preocupe. No se preocupe, yo tomo algo igual. So, like Pero este día lleva dos días, no me la acabo. En serio, no, yo en un día me termino uno de esos. Bueno, mucho en una mañana. Oh my, no, that's too much water. Too much. Yes. Because I, I Because you go to the gym. Yes. Mm -hmm. Por eso. Two. And talks to. Mm -hmm. Talks to. Le pone la S en talks. To potential. Talks. Uh -huh. And the number three. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. The talks. La, en, en ese talks. He talks to potential employees. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm, teacher, tenemos dudas en la siete. Ahí tienen dos opciones de cambio. Una, he has to go to a conference on July 22nd. Puede ser, he has to go to a com conference on July 21st. Vamos a ver. Es que... Dice que he has to go to a conference. Sí, sí. How to attend a conference. Vaya, pero on the 21st, he has to attend a conference. On yes. the 22nd, he has to attend a meeting about the conference. Entonces, ahí tienen dos opciones. Una, ponerle, he has to attend a conference on July 21st. Está bien. O le cambia, he has to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. Entonces ahí tiene cualquiera de las dos opciones. Está. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Porque le dan parcialmente, parcialmente, ¿verdad? Parte de la información está correcta con una y parte con otra. Sí. Sí, porque en una se que que va a atender la conferencia y en la otra va a atender. He usually, he usually even has this. He usually has. Y la, y la anterior, lo que le van a cambiar en vez de usually always, ¿verdad? He always, but igual, póngala incompleto. He always attends. He has two. He has two obligations, right? He has to attend a conference on July 21st. 
Acuérdense que a 21st le van a poner ST al final. El que lleva ND es el sexto. On, on Julio. ¿Cómo se dice Julio? On, on Julio. July. July. July 21st. Hola. Está fallando el On July 21st. Ajá. Y aquí quítele la ND y le pone una ST. ST. ¿Dónde? Al final, después de la okay. July 21st. Este. Sí. Ajá, eso. ¿Este? Este. ¿Qué día? Es que usted le escucha este. cortado, no sé si es a mí. Aquí. Este. Este. 21st. Uh -huh. 21st. He has to attend conference, a conference, on July 21st. Mm -hmm. Only two were correct. He often attends meetings in the morning. He never attends meetings in the afternoon. Mm. Not so often, check it. Que not so often no es lo mismo que decir never, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver, for the often. Uh -huh. En la number five, mm -hmm. usually ha, he never attends meetings in the afternoon. No, la number five. Ah, entonces, ahí te diría he often. He often has a meeting in the afternoon. He doesn't attend meetings in the afternoon so often. He doesn't. Porque, porque ajá, dice que la mayoría en la mañana, en la tarde, no tan frecuentemente. Pero, okay. o sea, que de vez en cuando sí. Entonces, no le podemos decir never. Porque estaría como en un 10%. Como en un 10% del tiempo, sí atiende meetings in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Porque dice, um, I attend meetings in the morning and no so often in the afternoon. Entonces ahí le pone, le puede poner, he attends meetings in the afternoon. He doesn't, doesn't, por eso sería negativo. He doesn't mm -hmm. attend meetings in the afternoon so often. No atiende tan frecuentemente, ¿verdad? En la tarde. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. Attend, le quita la S a ten. He doesn't attend meetings in the afternoon so often. O sea que prácticamente es una buena la expresión. Right? Mm -hmm. Ok, perfect, perfect. I guess you finish, right? That was yes. the last one. Ok, perfect. Okay. Coming, coming. Nos faltan varios. Bueno, ya tendrán que volver. Ahí está. Okay. Hi, hi. I am here. Present. Ay, Mari. ¿Qué le ha pasado? Me la llevó el Inter. Sí. <ríe> Mi teacher. Hola. Me too. 
when is 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 no no work when you pass or call to attendance. <laughs> qué barbaridad, qué barbaridad. Yes. No se me pierda. Vaya, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Eh, number one is correct or no? It's, it's grown. No. No, right? Bueno, y vos, vos. Este no. He writes reports every day? No. 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 He never answers the phone and talk to customers? No. No. He often attends meetings in the morning? Yes. Yes. He never attends meetings in the afternoon? No. 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 He usually has events in his company? Yes. 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 Nosotros la tenemos como no, teacher, porque no es usual y es always. Always. Yes. Ajá, es como esta. Es como la number five que dice he never attends meetings in the afternoon. Y no es never, sino que es almost never. Often. Mm -hmm. It's often. So often. often. Not, not so often, right? Okay. He has to go to a conference on July 22nd? No. No. Okay. Vaya. Hoy sí. Nos vamos a la correction. Check. Chair, in the number seven, uh, we have correct. Because they say we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July. We a have meeting about the conference. Like, the conference is 20, 21st. Mm -hmm. the, the yes. Yes. First you, are, you are a teacher. You go to a conference about okay, about the new methods on how to work online. See? Pero no todos los teachers de la escuela pueden ir. Then, you go to the conference and the principal says, okay, Angel, I'm going to pay it for you, Teresa, and Aristides. But you three go to the conference. But the next day, we will have a meeting about the conference. Y ahí ustedes nos van a contar a todos nosotros que aprendieron allá. Mm -hmm. So here we have the meeting, right? In the, in the, on the 21st, you have the conference. But on the 22nd, there is a meeting. You have to go to a meeting. That is, the meeting is about the conference. Te van a discutir de qué se trató la conferencia en este meeting. Okay, ahí está, mi error, about... Sí, I don't pay el, attention about el, el, Ese es el, el truco. Ahorita echémosle la culpa a la vacuna. Ah. <laughs> yes. That's the concentration. That's the concentration. Okay, a ver. His name is John Wink Wilkins. No, his no. name is John Wilson. Uy, ¿por qué este mal? His name, pero sé que no fuerte. ¿Qué otro color? De repente me olvida dónde le cambio el color de letra. Qué triste. Ah, bueno, pues quitémonos en el rojo. No. Quede en rojo entonces. Y ahora qué? Ay, qué bonito. Hay colors in line. Ah, no te 
terminaría arruinada. Vale. La de rebelde, la computadora. Sí, <ríe> sí de verdad. Vale, vamos a ver. His, you say is, ay, aquí está. Ya lo vi. Este es mi color. Está un poco claro, pero sí. Pero se ve más mejorcito que el rojo. Vale. His name, bueno, <risa> no ves computer que os pasa. Porque cuando termine va a seguir en su color que quiere. ¿sí? Ahí está, no sé. His name. His name is John Wilson. John Wilson, no John Wilkins, right? What about this one? He writes reports every day. He checks email for the company every day. Checks emails for the company every day. Very good. What about number three? He never answers the phone and talk to customers. He always answers the phone and talks to, poten to potential employers. Clients or customers? Customers. Employees. 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 Oh. Okay. Los future employees. Okay. A ver, a ver, a ver. He often attends meetings in the morning. Yes. Sí. Está correcto, right? So there is. Eso no está correcta, teacher. Sí, no change there. He never attends meetings in the afternoon. He always. Mm -hmm. No, he, he doesn't. He doesn't he often. often. He doesn't often attend meetings in the afternoon. He doesn't. He doesn't often attend the meeting in the afternoon. Fíjense que often es uno que lo, lo podríamos poner al final y decir, he doesn't attend meetings in the afternoon, so, por el so, ¿verdad? He doesn't attend meetings in the afternoon, so. Open. Tan frecuente. No tan frecuente. A ver. What about number six? He usually has events in his company. No, he always has events. He always. Yes, he always has events in his company. Um, what about seven? He has to go to a conference on July 22nd. Mm -hmm. No, he has to attend a conference on July 21st. Twenty-first. Okay. Remember the ordinal numbers. Yes. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? Y aquí 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th. Right? That, those are the ordinal que tienen que ver con orden, right? Ordinal numbers. Okay, questions here. Questions? No questions? No. No question. Okay. Bueno, let's go to this one. Let me show you here. Okay, go to this conversation. It is in your manual. Vamos a ver what number. Twenty-eight. Okay, good, Walter. Good, good, good. Everybody go to page twenty-eight. Okay, check. What are you going to do there? On fire. Uh -huh. On fire, vamos a poner la, 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 la música. El hambre, el hambre. <laughs> It wants in China on Saturday. Look at the conversation, right? We have a, a, a conversation between Susan and Adele. ¿Quién es Adele? ¿El hombre? Well, I don't know. Adele, Adele is a, a name of woman, right? Well, look at the conversation. And repeat, Adele, please check my Adele. agenda. Adele, please check my agenda. Please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? When is the meeting? When is with the, the meeting consultant? with the consultant? Consultant. Repeat, consultant. 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 Adele, please check my agenda. Adele, when is the meeting with the consultant? When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. On Monday, Monday November, November 22nd. 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? What, What about, about the conference, the conference with, with the Mexican, Mexican representatives? representatives? Representatives. 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 What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? What about the conference, about the conference with, with the Mexican, Mexican, Mexican representatives? Mexican representatives. Mexican representatives. It's on Friday the 26th. It's on Friday, on Friday the 26th. It's, It's on Friday the 26th. It's on Friday the 26th. Consultant. 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 Representatives. 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 26. 26. 26. Mexican. 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 Agenda. 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 Meeting. 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 November 22nd. Meeting. November, November 22nd. 22nd. November. Mexican representatives. Mexican, Mexican representatives. Mexican representatives. Mexican representatives. Mexican representatives. Mexican representatives. Okay, um, check, you have two questions here. When is Susan's meeting? November 22nd. Okay, it is on November 22nd, right? Do you think Susan has a busy agenda? Yes or no? Do you think Susan has a busy agenda? 
Yes. Why? Because the uh, only only oh, only oh. week only week and twenty second and I think I think on Monday is a meeting and Friday is another meeting. Okay, because and we I have think... two meetings in the same week, you mean? Yes. But only two. But um, I think in another in another another week is it's two uh, three or 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 another two meetings. Okay. I think so. so. You think she could, <laughs> she could have she could have other meetings uh, or the, the other days, right? Because she's asking. Yeah. She's asking about just two two meetings or two mm -hmm. activities, mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. are in the same week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could be right. Could be. Mm -hmm. Now okay. we will come back later. Don't worry. We will come back later. Mm -hmm. to that. Okay. Check the check the calendar. Repeat January. 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 February. January. February. 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 March. 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 April. 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 May. 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 June. 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 July. 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 August. 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 September. 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 October. 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 November. 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 December. 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 Again. January. 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 February. 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 March. 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 April. 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 May. 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 June. 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 July. 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 August. 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 September. 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 October. 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 November. 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 December. 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 November. Okay. Checking. Right now we are still in September, right? We are still in September. How many days do we have in September? How many days? Hmm? Check your calendar. How many Three days? days? 30, yeah, we have 30. So that means that tomorrow is the last day of September, right? Right. right. And then we will begin with October. How many days do you have in October? 31 days. 31 days, perfect. We have 31 days. Now, here we have a calendar. Of course, it's all calendar. Right. This is an old calendar, it's 2017. But go to the calendar of October, right? Check October's calendar. And what you're going to do is choose one of the months. I will say October to think about something that is not so far away. But if you want, you can take November. To decide October and November, fecha futura, no pasada, right? Because you're going to write the name of the month in the calendar and then think of three events that you have for that month. For example, if you think about October, what are three events that you have for October? Yes. What are three events that you have for October? then you write the dates for those events. Yeah? 
So first, you have here 2017, right here, you write October. October, but here, of course, not 2017. No, we are going to take 2021. 2021 for today. That's the perfect number the perfect size. But you have, we have on 2021, and exactly October has 31 days, right? I don't think they fit exactly. Let's see. No, because this year, October will finish on Sunday, right? But you accommodate, you accommodate here, the the calendar get the numbers for october 21st october 21st october 2021 uh, sorry right october 2021 now what three events do you have for october what three events do you have so if you say, well, I have to present the exams. I have, for the ones that are teachers, you say, well, I have to present the exams. Probably here. Yeah, probably here, about um, two weeks before. And another activity, you say, well, I have to finish my reports by next Friday. Yeah. And I have to, 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 okay, to talk to parents this day. Or you say, well, I have to attend a meeting on the on October 17. So what activities or what events do you have to do? You choose three dates and choose, for example, here, we're talking about 2021, not 2017, right? Okay, 2021. What are three events you have to do? And when are they get chivo? Como me estuvieran jugando bingo, me quedaron en línea. Casually, casually. Okay, so. Teacher, I can see your your, your you screen. Can, you cannot see my screen. Vamos a ver, que no estoy compartiendo. Si estoy compartiendo, a saber qué. It's freeze, the, the, your screen. Oh, really? Not yet. ¿Y hoy? Oh. Yes, you start, okay. Okay, perfect, I check. So first, choose the month. You decide if you want to write events for October or for November. You say, well, in October, no tengo nada, pero tengo cosas en noviembre. Perfect, no problem. Then here, you write November, ¿verdad? And you write the dates of the activities that you have to do and the events. And look at the example, you say, um, I have an English class on Tuesday, August 9th. Tuesday, August. Aquí August había escogido, right? On Tuesday, August, August 9th. But if you say, well, I have a conference in Mexico on October 5th, 2021. Entonces, escribe la oración completa, right? I have. Uy, gigante la letra. Bueno, 
para que la veamos bien esta vez. I have a conference, or I have a meeting, or I have a, aquí, a workshop. Un workshop es un taller, ¿verdad? algo donde se va a aprender algo nuevo. I have a workshop in Mexico on October 5. Ya, usted ya tiene su oración. Esta es su primera oración. Ya. Y así escribe otra dos. You will write three. About three events that you have for this month. No se preocupen porque la fecha no pega cabal en el día y principalmente para este año. No, no worry about that. What I'm worried about is the structure, right? I have a workshop in Mexico on October 5th. Deme oraciones completas, right? Mm -hmm. Three events, three events for the same month, October or November. So for example, here, I chose October. Three activities, teacher. Sí, three events. Tres eventos que usted tiene y lo ubica dentro de un mes. Y acá en el calendar me marca las fechas de esos eventos. I can say, uh, says uh, the week, uh, for example, the week 18 to 22nd of October. I can say that. Sí. Okay. On the week from, from the, the week, 18th, oh. on the week from the 18th to the 22nd of October. Okay. En el mes real son, empezando sábado, de sábado a miércoles. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, in the real month is uh, Monday to Friday. Yeah, sí, sí, sí. I was in September. Mm -hmm. Yes. Those are your final exams, no, Berta? Yes. I yeah. have to finish exam the, to the seniors. On the 22nd. Yes. Okay. It's the last day for the promo. Wow, very fast. Ooh, we go to November. November, we begin exams on the 10th of November to finish on the 16th. Nos falta un rato. Pero mejor. Pero right. Okay, questions. ¿Cómo vamos con sus events? events? Teacher, yo lo escribí en el cuaderno, los eventos, ¿está bien? Sure, sure. Don't forget to put the dates, right? When you're having those events. Who wants to share? A volunteer to share. Volunteer, 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 volunteer. Hi, teacher. Okay, Walter, go ahead. Fire. <laughs> Go. Uh, I have to travel on October 5. No, October 5th? 5th. 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 And second, I have to anniversary of marriage in 27th October. On October 27th. Okay, on October 27th. 
great. It is really. Oh, it's real. congratulations. Thank you. Okay, great. I need to return at 6 of November. November 6th? Yes. To return on November 6th. I will travel one month. Okay, so you will travel a whole month, but you will be back on November 6th. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Walter. Who will be the next one? Volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. No. Okay, Teresa. Yeah. I have a November one. November 1st. Uh -huh. I have the celebration of, of my son's birthday. Okay, you have your son's birthday on November okay. 1st. Okay. Entonces, ¿cómo sería? I, I, have, have, I, I have, have. I have my son's birthday celebration on November 1st. O okay. puede poner el tiempo al final, al principio y decir. On November 1st, I have my son's birthday celebration. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have an operation on October eh, 12, ¿cómo es que se dice 12? 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Uh -huh. Who else? Who else? Volunteers? Hi, teacher. Okay, tell me. Tell me. Thursday, Thursday, November 18th of this year, 2021, is my birthday. Okay, October 18th. 18th. Okay, on October 18th. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Aha, uh -huh. one more volunteer. Hey, me, teacher. Okay, tell me. I have, mm, uh, I have my sister's birthday party on October twenty first. On October twenty first. Okay. Birthday party. Okay. Great, great. So you see, October comes full of birthdays and full of parties, right? Okay. Well, no more volunteers. It's time. Me? Hi. Okay. Tell me, tell me that's Luis. No. Oh, Angel. Angel. Okay, Angel. Tell me. My brother come to visit on October 7th. Okay, October 7th. Nice. So you will be in final exams and with your brothers visiting. Nice. Good month of October, right? Yes. Great. <laughs> what happened, Maura? Maura, Maura is here. Maura. Maura me abandonó y me puso una carita de... Do you want me to go to sleep, Maura? I'm here, teacher. Okay, okay. <laughs> Great. Okay, well, let's see. I'm going, to, I'm going to stop sharing here and I'm going to call attendance. Vamos a ver the last attendance of the day. Angel. Present. Let's see, Aristides. Present. Nice. Venia. Present, teacher. Eduardo. Edwin. Present. Fatima. Present, teacher. Isabel. Present, teacher. Luis. Present, teacher. Okay, Maria Martinez. Present teacher. Y hoy sí los atrapé, ¿verdad? Eh, Maricela. 
Maricela, Maricela. Maricela, hello. Marlene. Present teacher. Maura. Present. Nidia. Nidia. Oscar. Oscar. Ricardo. Present teacher. Ok. Teresa. Present teacher. Walter. Present teacher. Yesenia. Present teacher. And Judy. Present teacher. Ok. Perfect. Perfect. Well, that's nice. Um, yo me voy a quedar por ahí pendiente de, de, de revisar los que me deben todavía examen. Examen de, de medio curso, ¿verdad? Tengo un par que me deben un pedacito de, de las tareas. Entonces, eh, yo me voy a quedar por ahí pendiente para actualizarles la nota y me la completan hoy. Oye, vaya pues, eh, Marisela here, Marisela, Marisela se queda conmigo hoy. Ok, well, have a great good day. Night. Good evening, good night now, ¿verdad? Sí, ya good night, porque ya. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good nice day. day. Bye, good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, good night. Suerito, Ángel, suero, mucho suero, suero, suero. Yes. Ángel, tu cara me da una impresión así de necesita ir a dormir. Oh, le pusieron la vacuna hoy. A mí me toca el otro martes. Ouch. Sí, prepárese. Sí. Por lo menos a mí me dolió. Bueno, me duele. El hombro aquí lo he tenido en la mesa. <ríe> sí, guarda. Hay que hidrate, bien, hay que hidratarse. Fíjense que en la, en la mía me tocó, en las dos anteriores, estuve yendo al gimnasio para que me pasara más rápido. Y sí, sí, funciona. Es cierto. De verdad. Sí. Sí. Yo hasta manejar ahora, me, cuando estaba enrollando, sí. me dolió. <ríe> A mí me lo pusieron en el brazo derecho. Y el izquierdo, ¿En serio? El derecho, porque es el que más muevo. Así rápido se me pasó. Ajá. Yo creía que el estar en movimiento ayuda un poco. Ayuda a, ¿A usted, Luis, le pusieron Sinovac? Sí. Ah, ok. Le van a poner AstraZeneca. Dicen que esa Ajá. es bastante fuerte. Yo no ¿Sí? lo creía, pero sí. Hoy, desde que me lo pusieron, en el segundo sentí. <risa> con la Sinovac no sentí eso. Ajá. El quemón en todo el brazo, así hasta la puntita aquí del dedo, Ajá. pero quemón. Y, y bueno, al ratito tranquilo. ¿eh? ¿Sí? Y, y mi esposa anda más tranquila del brazo que yo, pero ya cuando ya venía, que ya venía, que ya venía manejando, ahí ya quizás eso fue lo que me, me hizo que me doliera más. Y ahorita ayudará, ayudará por... toda la clase pasó con, con gran dolor. Ángel, y es tu tercera dosis. Sí, tercera. Pero la están agendando ya para todos o ustedes que están Olivia en Teacher. la cosa de los profesores. Teachers, right now. Por, por ser profesor, ajá, okay. y, y Luis por ser eh, trabajar en farmacia. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ay, ay, ay. Gracias por la aclaración porque no te veía a mayor de 60 años porque. <risa> No, pero usted, usted no, es instructor de, de conducción, parece. Sí. No, no. Es, ah, es teacher, yo. Estoy instructor de buceo. Yeah. Teacher, una pregunta. Tell me, Yuri. Fíjese que yo trabajé Toge. en el pero no me deja revisar si lo completé y qué es well, lo que me falta. Me está dando problema esto para okay. revisar. No sé si usted me puede ayudar con ver si lo he completado o me faltó. Por favor. Good night, Ricardo. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night everybody. Yuri, sí me aparece. Pero Good night, Luisito. Good night, Walter. Good night. Bye. Bye.
Bye. See you tomorrow. Si me, si me deben algo, terminenmelo, please. Teacher, una consulta. Dígame. El video es de la clase hasta mañana, parece, ¿verdad? ¿El de la clase de hoy? Sí. Sí. Sí, es oh, hasta okay. mañana. Sí le parece, me dijo, ¿verdad, Tisha? Sí, la, tiene 100. Ah, ok. Sí, Entonces ya solo me faltan las actividades, ¿verdad? Pues de la unidad 3, porque la 2, Yuri. Yuri, ¿verdad? Sí. Fíjese que la unidad 2 me parece ya completas todas las tareas. Solo le faltaría quizás el, eh, el la discussion, no sé si la respondió la discussion. Las que estábamos trabajando en clase hoy. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? sí, sí, me hacen falta dos, parece, si no me equivoco. Ah, vaya. Ya ahorita las termino. Ok, sí, porque ya Thank you. Tarea, sí, ya la Good night, teacher. Good night, see you, see you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, Ricardo. Good night, good night. Good night.